During the campaign, uh, President Trump uh, promised that he would rewrite all the trade agreements that uh, he claimed his predecessors were um, hoodwinked into to America's disadvantage. And at the G8 summit last week, he made good on his promise to challenge our trade partners about high tariffs and barriers to entry uh, into their markets of American goods. Uh, where this goes exactly is anyone's guess. Uh, the president has promised our allies that they cannot win a trade war with the United States, which is the largest economy in the world, uh, and that he will impose on them, on their goods and services, uh, tariffs, which are um, ad valorem taxes, on imports ranging from aluminum and steel to automobiles, uh, medical devices, and all kinds of other goods that Americans love to buy. Um, now there are kind of two problems with a trade war of this nature. Uh, one is we're not sure exactly the extent to which the president's concerns are legitimate. Certainly the United States has a right to complain anytime another nation engages in unfair trade practices. But the way the president is conducting um, his uh, grievances seems to undermine credibility in the overall trade system, which may not be a good thing. Uh, to a large extent, he seems to be making an appeal to his uh, nationalist base here in the United States and the Rust Belt and elsewhere, blaming foreigners and foreign goods for America's economic problems. But he does have some legitimate grievances. Canada, for example, protects its dairy industry from uh, foreign imports with a 270% tariff. That's a protectionist tariff on, on imported milk. Uh, also, the Europeans impose uh, protectionist tariffs on uh, US automobiles uh, imported into Europe. But the bigger question is uh, may, may um, may have to do with whether the way in which the president is conducting the trade war is legal. Because under the WTO charter, uh, the charter of the World Trade Organization that's charged with administering the world's uh, trading system, uh, unilateral tariffs like President Trump has imposed on goods from our allies and China are not uh, permitted. Instead, the WTO has a dispute resolution procedure that its members are supposed to follow for settling trade disputes. We'll have to see how this goes. In the meantime, the president's critics are very concerned that it may backfire. If the United States can impose unilateral tariffs on imported goods, then other nations can impose tariffs on ours. And China already has. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. The hope is that uh, the president finishes at least what he starts either by um, turning to the WTO to negotiate a settlement to the problem or by following through uh, with um, hopefully a successful effort to make the world trading system fairer for all nations.